What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about this 990 gallon fuel trailer made by Boss Trailers. So starting out here at the front, we'll go ahead and talk about the hitch and the frame moving back. So what we're going to have on this is going to be a 2 and 5 16 inch Demco cast hitch. It is going to be adjustable. You'll notice here the two bolt system where you can adjust this up and down. You are going to have the heavy duty safety chains there. Then as we move back, what we're going to have is the 10 thousand pound jack here now you are going to have some options to change out this jack from a manual to an electric and towards the end of the video here i'll go ahead and drop a link for that and put down in the description below where you can go to check out all of the different options on this trailer but we're mainly going to be talking about the standard features so the standard is going to be that manual ten thousand pound jack now as far as the framing goes what you're going to have is six inch c channel frame running all the way down the length of the trailer here at the top what you're going to have normally is you are going to have your pump box here at the front and then sometimes you'll just have an extra 28 inches here that is ready for the def system this model here is going to have that def system on it which we'll show here in a minute then once we move back we are going to have our 990 gallon tank here that is going to be sitting on top of two 7,000 pound axles giving this trailer a gvwr of 14,000 pounds now on those axles what you're going to have stock is going to be the eight lug black 16 inch wheels with the 10 ply tires once again you're going to have options here you're going to be able to upgrade this from those mod metal wheels up to the aluminum wheels you're also going to be able to upgrade those tires from the radials to different styles and then also from the 10 ply up to the 14 ply now also what you're going to have is the smooth teardrop style fenders on this trailer but you can upgrade those as well in the options just to add a little more flare and a little more protection to this trailer now you'll also notice that you are going to have the dot regulated reflective tape here you are going to have marker lights on the sides you're going to have the indication stickers over here to let people know what you are hauling in this trailer and then at the rear you're also going to have the led lights to make sure that you are dot regulated once again now along with this hitch here you are going to have the heavy duty safety chains along with your standard seven pin trailer connector here but then you also have the option here of going with this jumper plug here in the front and that is going to be for if you have the electrical components underneath the hood here which we're going to show here in a minute depending on which fuel pump you get for this trailer now let's talk a little bit more about the star of the show here which is going to be the tank itself now how these tanks are made up is a big deal and it's a question that a lot of people are going to have whenever we're going out and buying these so let's talk about this for one this is going to be a seven gauge steel bottom tank with 10 gauge steel on the sides and the top here so that is going to be what gauge steel this tank is made out of. Now, this tank is going to be sitting not only on those two 7,000 pound axles, but it is going to have the slipper spring suspension underneath it as well to help with the suspension. When we're talking about hauling 990 gallons of fuel, you're going to imagine that with a lot of bounce and a lot of movement, that fuel getting to moving, you could have lots of issues with that trying to pull this trailer one way or the other. So that slipper spring suspension is going to help with that along with three evenly spaced baffles throughout this tank to help with the movement of that fluid, keeping it from sloshing and moving as much whenever you are driving down those roads, getting to the field, wherever you are going with this tank. Now, also what you have is you're going to have two fill ports. You're going to have one that has a ventilated cap here at the front. Both of these are going to be on the driver's side. Then you're going to have one at the rear. So when you're pulling up to the pumps, you have one fill here, one fill at the rear. Depending on where you get pulled up at, you are going to have those two different spots. Then you're also going to have a sight gauge on top that is going to tell you how full the tank is. And you can see that a 360 view all the way around the tank. Now, in addition to this, what we have here, like I said, is going to be more of the standard frame of trailer. But you can actually add on at the rear a rear box there that can be for a toolbox box or an air compressor a generator an air compressor and generator combo all of those different things like i said i'm going to have more about those attachments and a link down in the description below so make
make sure to check that out if you're wanting to see more options on this trailer. And as we all know, a fuel trailer and a tank are no good without a pump. So let's go ahead and show you what pump we are gonna have on this machine. When we raise this up here, what we are gonna have inside is going to be the 45 gallon per minute pump. It, this one is gonna be powered by the seven horsepower Kohler engine here. It's also going to have a battery kit and an electronic meter here at our nozzle and you're also going to have a 10 micron filter attached straight to your pump now you could have some different options here you could have a 12 volt pump option or just a straight electrical pump option option those are going to be lesser in the gallons per minute if you're wanting up to that 45 gallon per minute you are going to want to go with the engine option now behind door number two here what we're going to have if you decide to equip this is going to be our depth system now this is going to be a 90 gallon tank with a 20 foot hose to match the 20 foot hose that you are going to have also with your diesel pump now these can be options as well, depending on what size of hose you want, how long you want that hose. All of these things can either be changed or added. So the nice thing about these Boss trailers is that they can really be customizable to how you need them. Now, with this tank here, the fill is gonna be on top. We're gonna have this little hatch right here that we can open up, go straight down, fill that tank. Very nice and convenient to keep that sort out of the way. Now, the nice thing is, is that if we go over on the other side to the passenger door, you're gonna have some holders when you open that door up. Up here, up top, you can hold some cans, maybe some grease guns, and then a holder down here at the bottom, maybe to put in such things as paper towels, different cans, oil, whatever those things are that you may wanna keep on board to really use this as a utility and service trailer. Now, what I really like about these Boss trailers is that once you get everything closed up here, everything is nice and kept out of the elements so whether you are going with that gas powered engine to push that fuel or you're having the def option here on the tank whatever you are doing you are nice and covered up nothing is exposed none of your pump or filters or other elements such as your hoses your reels nothing like that is out in the elements everything is closed up here and you're going to get these at a good price they're going to be a good middle of the road option of trailer these are not going to break the bank there are definitely going to be plenty of retailers around you so i highly suggest if you are interested at all in one of these boss trailers to go on their website and check that out like i said i'm going to have that link down in the description below that's going to be for the 990 specifically that you can scroll down and see all of the options for this trailer and also the nice thing is is that if you are big on your trailer matching the color of your equipment you are going to see all of those different color options so you're not only going to have this gray you're going to be able to get this in black orange green blue red whatever color that is to be able to match your equipment if you like to have it all match which i know a lot of you out there do make sure and check that out so guys i hope this video helped you out I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just asked you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you're looking for more videos like this over equipment and especially over John Deere equipment, make sure to check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.